One of our final excellent educators for the month of May is an experienced teacher who had to adapt to last year's ever-changing environment. Rebecca Karch teaches third graders at Carver Intermediate in Chesapeake. She spoke to our Chris Horn about what she learned about teaching during the pandemic. When Rebecca Karch started teaching, Ronald Reagan was president. Cell phones were about the size of a suitcase, and Back to the Future was at the movies. Jeez. On vintage. Fast forward 35 years later, Karch had to get her third graders excited about school. I see like a beaver right here. With, um... Even when she couldn't see that excitement in their faces. My kids have made great progress this year, I, but I pushed them hard. And I think that was probably the biggest challenge for me this year is knowing how hard you can push somebody behind a mask. Because yeah. their body language tells you a lot. The pandemic meant a new way of teaching. Carver Intermediate is grades three, four, and five. That meant her kids needed to adapt not only to a new school, but a new way of learning and a new teacher. I'm almost five nine, so here I am. I've got, you know, I don't have that Cinderella voice and you're coming to me. She calls her students precious jewels. She'll have them honor their heroes by dressing up like Rosa Parks or Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Karch says her students relate best to stories and says they loved the wild robot. If I had to pick my favorite thing to do instructionally, I love doing the read aloud. And kids have gotten so used to, you know, watching the story on Zoom that we had to bridge that a little bit because I like to walk around and read them stories because they are so spread apart. You kind of have to work the room because if not, and you're only at the front, then only a couple of kids get a great seat. I asked Karch what she would be doing if she weren't a teacher. She was hard pressed to answer that question. She says teaching is her favorite sport. Chris Horn, 10 in your side. Well, Chesapeake isn't the only city with excellent educators. We've been profiling teachers from across the area all month long. You can read about their accomplishments right now on wavy.com.